Welcome to Cam Look, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or a volunteer will share an artwork from the permanent collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. for a new artwork and more discussion. Hey, I'm Haley Perkins and I am the Assistant Director of Interpretive Programming here at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today we're going to be talking about this work titled Orchestra Stalls by the artist Honoré Daumier. Now the first thing you might be asking yourself when you look at this work is, is it even finished? There's sketchy lines, there's thin washes of paint, the figures aren't fully refined. Why would we show an artwork that isn't completely finished? Did the artist actually consider it to be finished? Hmm. These are some good questions to consider, so let's take a closer look at the artist first before we jump further into the painting. Honoré Daumier is most well known as an accomplished lithographer who created scathing characters and commentary of corrupt politicians and the social elite of 19th century French society. Born in Marseille in 1808, the artist's talents were recognized early on. His parents were unable to financially support formal training, so a family friend gave Daumier rudimentary drawing lessons, and he often sketched at the Louvre. He later found work at a commercial press where he learned the printmaking process of lithography, thus beginning his career. After the revolution of 1830, censorship laws relaxed, allowing an increase of weekly publications like La Caricature and Le Charivari, where readers delighted in Daumier's clever political cartoons. However, King Louis-Philippe's government felt threatened and fined the artist and even sentenced him to jail for six months for criticizing the king. Titan censorship laws in 1835 forced Daumier to mostly abandon the political content of his work, and he refocused his critical lens to a safer subject of satirical social commentary for Le Charivari. It was also during this time he began working more in oil paint, a medium he found challenging but also enjoyed and was encouraged to pursue more fervently. In contrast to his caricatures, his paintings focused on more traditional themes, such as classical myths, and literary narratives, and still, images of everyday life, a popular topic for 19th century artists. Despite his passion for painting, any works he did show publicly were largely ignored by critics of the time, and he never found a dedicated audience or income from this area of work. Though he continued to paint privately and earn a meager income from Le Charivari, the artist's eyesight began to fail by the mid-1860s, endangering his career and livelihood. By the time of his death in 1879, Daumier had produced nearly 4,000 lith lithographs and 500 paintings, many of which remain in an unfinished state. And that brings us back to today's unfinished painting, Orchestra Stalls. Let's take a little bit closer look at the artist's process, and then I have some questions for you to consider at the end. Painted around 1865, Orchestra Stalls is a hazily sketched depiction of concert attendees in a theater. With thin washes of oil and turpentine, the details of the three central figures are only quickly suggested. A few discernible details show us that these people are probably members of a certain social class. The closest woman's low-cut dress with a suggestion of a sheer fabric, the fashionable hair of both women, and the manicured beard of the gentleman. Behind the central figures, we see the suggestion of a crowded theater, achieved through gestural strokes of muted orange and brown. Perhaps the quick line work suggests movement of the crowd during intermission. Though, had Daumier finished the painting, maybe he would have developed the background with a similar treatment as the figures, showing a concert hall full of riveted listeners. When I view this work, I'm captivated by the idea of being ahead of one's time. In comparison to his painting contemporaries, Daumier's unique style stands apart from the tightly finished works that were generally accepted into the Paris Salon. The loose visual language of his brushstrokes seem to anticipate the incoming art movements of Impressionism and Expressionism. I wonder, did he find a sense of freedom in loose painting techniques that he couldn't explore with lithography? Is this freedom what led him to leave many paintings unfinished? And... Did he perhaps find some relief in painting everyday snapshots without needing to provide abiding commentary, as he was well known and paid to do? Situated in our galleries between paintings by Tissot and Manet, I like to consider Daumier's work with a little bit different eye. 
when I take into consideration that he had so many unfinished paintings and his contemporaries had so many seemingly finished paintings, it makes me wonder, when does an artist consider their artwork to be, in fact, finished? What is it about an artwork that makes it look complete? And do we, as a viewer, get to decide for them? At least we get to decide, probably for ourselves. For me, when I look at this artwork, I feel like it's a complete experience for me. I enjoy seeing the artist's process. I enjoy seeing his energy. I like to see behind the curtain, if you will. I hope that the next time you visit the Cincinnati Art Museum or any art museum, you'll take some of these questions into consideration when viewing artwork around you. Thank you for watching today's CAM look. Check back in the future for more artwork and more discussion. See ya.